I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I, I have reservations about Foxconn, but one thing I want to assure, and I've, I've, I've assured the men and women in the 50th that I've talked to about this issue, people have to understand Foxconn does not get a penny until they have certain parameters that are met. And, and I think that gets lost in, in, the, in, the, in the shuffle, but people don't realize this is a great opportunity for the state of Wisconsin. It's a great opportunity for the 50th Assembly District. We have some companies that are going to benefit. Now, my reservations are this. We have an unbelievable shortage of workers in the 50th Assembly District. And so my concern is that we're going to lose people from the 50th to that Foxconn facility. I think that it's a gamble. At best, it's a gamble. There are too many unknowns with it. I think uh, good contracts make good deals, and this contract seems to be evolving by the week and the day. Here's the thing. So if you think about that, let's use $4 billion as a number of incentives, uh, dollar incentives. So that equates to, uh, what is that, uh, $400,000, that'd be $10,000, $400,000 incentives that we could have sprinkled throughout the entire state. Now imagine if we had that money on a local level to provide incentives. Most small businesses are the ones who create the jobs for us and the innovation innovators for us, particularly in small areas that I want to represent. Foxconn was a swing at the ball in an election year, an election season. That's all it really was.